News 5 continues to follow through on the stories impacting our community. Yes, when others leave, we return to check on the progress and see how things are playing out. Back in March, we told you about the efforts of Brunswick City Schools to fill the school bus driver shortage. They hosted a test drive event and hiring fair. District leaders say they experienced a tremendous turnout and found multiple candidates. Now Avon Lake is hosting a similar event in hopes of making several hires of their own. Well, Mike Holden joins us live this morning with their plan of action as well as Brunswick's numbers. Mike, it's good to see that you are no longer behind the wheel of that bus. <laughs> I was laughing off the top of the show. I'm like, Tiffany, notice the bus garage is locked. No keys in sight. They're smart here. They know. They witnessed the last one, and they're like, mm, not going to happen, right? Well, let's get to the story first and foremost. It's no secret at this point. There is a nationwide bus driver shortage between retirements, lifestyle changes. They need drivers. So they're hosting this weekend event Saturday starting at 9 o'clock right here behind us at the Avon Lake City Schools Transportation Center. They're hoping folks will come out, sign up, and they they say already at this point, 18 people are ready to do so. Active recruitment efforts are underway to find more bus drivers in the Avon Lake City School District. We're down to not having any subs available, so I've been driving a lot this year and my mechanics are driving. Transportation Supervisor Sue Cole says the solution is a hands-on test drive event on Saturday, April 20th at their bus garage. A controlled setting, she says, is key. I'm really excited. I'm hoping that we get some sub drivers out of this event. Basically just be driving around the parking lot. We wanted to have it where there were was no other traffic. Open our emergency door. Longtime sure. bus driver and current onboard instructor Diane Kepik was encouraged by her sister to give it a try two decades ago. It's really not intimidating at all. I think just getting on it and having a feel for it which is exactly why we're doing this event. Kepik says the gig is perfect for parents and grandparents looking for some part-time work, and she says the experience is beyond fulfilling. I know all my kids by name, and they are so wonderful. They currently have 28 drivers on staff and are looking to hire a handful more contracted and substitute drivers to cover their 11-square-mile radius. The event comes on the heels of Brunswick's test drive event. News 5 followed through after our initial report aired back in mid-March. Brunswick now reporting 28 people showed up to their event and they say it was a huge success. They secured four drivers who are now interested in going through the employment process. They say they're still facing a shortage but continue to recruit. They were initially looking to fill upwards of 10 spots with the then 47 active drivers on their staff. Kepik is also looking forward to guiding the next class of drivers here. Showing them the basics of, you know, the turn signals and our lights. Um, our, you know, our Ambers. She says intimate and unique events just like this draw interest and it could attract a great candidate who never thought about getting behind the wheel. Oh, anyone can do it though. Right? Anyone can do it. I always said if I can do it, anyone can do it. That means I sure. probably couldn't do it. Yeah. <laughs> She says the controls are user friendly, regardless of your experience driving a larger vehicle. There's no clutch anymore. Push it up. There you go. See, now our stop sign came out. Wow. My motto is never rush on a bus, and you just have to be a good defensive driver. I love that. And multitaskers. Diane made it seem so easy. All right, so here's the information you need to know ahead of tomorrow's event. Applicants need a clean driving record and clearly a valid driver's license. You have to be at least 21 years old and have two years of driving experience. And Diane also said, obviously, wear closed-toed shoes. It's, it's the standard here. You got to do that. And also, we want to point out, if you're interested in the event, it's so easy to sign up. We link to it on News5Cleveland.com as well as the News5 Cleveland app. The location is right here, 334. 480 Pin Oak Parkway here in Avon Lake starting at 9 and going till noon. And again, they need people to drive these kids. Tiff, sending back to you guys. You know what, Mike? I was a little concerned seeing you pushing those buttons. I'm glad you didn't go anywhere, but I was too. <laughs> right. You said this job really pays well. What's the starting rate here? 
Yeah, that's the big question too. So the zero starting point is $24 an hour for substitutes. It's 1950 hearing those numbers. That should be the big draw as well. It is part time work. So whether you're a parent, grandparent, retiree, it's about four hours a day. So they say give it a shot again, even if you don't feel the most confident, they're here to guide you through the process unless your name's Mike Holden and then they're just running and, and hiding and locking the doors. Smart people. Thank you, Mike. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs>